Hello and welcome to this SQL tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. And today we're looking at a specific challenge or a predominant interview question or skill that you should have as a SQL developer, and that's calculating the delta. So in our case, we have an example where we want to calculate the difference between each month's app users and the previous month's app users. And we don't want to include the initial months and in null values. So as you can see here, very basic data sample. Um, and I'll show you how to set this up with a table and the insert two values so you can follow along. Uh, but we have a month year. Um, and at the end of each month within that year, we get the total app users. So this would be a pretty common requirement where we want to sort of view that growth um, as we move on because you would expect if things are going well uh, a positive growth to take place so it'd be a pretty common metric that people may want to track and this may not be app users this could be you know figures views um you know any sort of product where you want to see a positive increase that you could all reflect um by using this sort of um solution within sql server and sql in general so I've said use practice, that's just to get us within the correct database. You can set this up in whatever database you like. And here's the, the script just to create the table. We have a month, year, date format, app users, integer value, whole number. Um, and we just want to insert in these values. So you can pause um, and you can use those and pause the video and input those if you want to follow along at your leisure. Now we've got the, um, it's worth noting that before we go into the solution, um, I've just, I will be formatting the month here just into, uh, with the UK culture so that I can view the, the days of the month first, but you can feel free to format this however you like. So the first step we want to, we're actually going to run our query and we're going to insert the results into a temp table just to segregate things, make it clean. Um, and this will become apparent later on why we do this. We're also going to use the lag window function. Now what this does, it's very helpful in calculating the delta because it provides access to the row, how many rows above that we want to specify. In this case, it would be, would be one. And it gives us the physical op offset, which comes before the current row that we're on. So this will make more sense as we actually run through the query. So first we want to select that month year um, value. And as I say, it's just a, a singular date, but we're going to format it. Um, if we use D and then ENGB within quotations, we get that British formatting so that we have the days, then the month, then the year. Um, I will put in which table this is coming from just to move any red um, error lines within IntelliSense. Um, we're going to want to view that app users. And as we see, if we execute this as standard, we get that sort of basic sample that we had before. So now we want to introduce our lag window function. So we're going to take the, the app users and we're going to minus the lag and the app users where we said that one offset, so one row above. So essentially we're just minusing the current row um, with the row above. Um, and we can partition that by the month year. So there we go. As we would expect, we've aliased it or called the column monthly change. The first value you would expect to have is a null, but again, we can see the positive and negative progression as we work through. Um, I'll just put this into a table. We'll, we'll just call this temp result, um, temporary result set. There we go. We get the, the uh, message to say that that's correctly being carried out. We can just select all um, from that temp result table. Remember with the hashtag for temp table, um, and now we're just going to run this again with the temp result, but we're going to see where that monthly change column is not null. Now we couldn't execute this in the where clause before because we can't run um, a window function within a where clause. So we can just insert this into a temp table, make it clean, segregate it, and we get the relevant results. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.